I'm, I'm happy for him. A I guess it's still, it's still on stage. All right. Thanks, Elizabeth. We saw it in the hit show Homeland. Terrorists hacking into the vice president's pacemaker via Wi-Fi. That's very funny. You got some balls, Brody. I'll give you that. I'm not joking. <laughs> Could they really do that? Security consultant David Kennedy joins us, and the answer is? They can. Absolutely. Okay, let's start at the beginning. All they need is a device like this. What is it? This is called a Pwn Pad, and it's from a company called Pony Express, uh, which basically manufactures these. And it's used for people that are on the good side to test the security, but anybody can really build these tools to monitor all of the transmissions that are happening real time. You came in here about three minutes ago. You turned this on. What are these lines of green stuff? So what you can see here is you can see all the communications that are really happening real time. These are um, in this room. In this room. So you can see everything that's transmitting right now, and we can look at them. We can actually go and selectively attach each one of these uh, machines and devices. So here's the thing. You, you're able to do this. You're able to pick this up. You're saying you're able to pick it up in hospitals. Are hospitals equipped the way other security agencies are? No, if you look at if you look at hospitals, they're literally five to six years behind any other industry that are out there. If you look at manufacturing or retail or even the banking industries, you know, they've been stepping up their security over the past few years. The medical uh, field is significantly behind the times, you know, five to six years at least. And so because, uh, talking about hospitals, because they're, you know, they haven't stepped up to the new technology, using this device, and yeah. just hold that up, yeah. using that device, what could a hacker do? Well, this is a device that uh, Rob Simon and I created created um, a few years ago, and this is what we call a blackout device. And literally, a lot of the hospitals, um, what they use is they basically... It just plugs right in the wall. Plugs right into the wall. And, and what uh, happens? A lot of the, a lot of the hospitals, um, they have you know, s you know, s concrete walls and things like that uh, to try to penetrate through so they can't go wireless, so they use the power lines to transmit information. So, so okay, uh, so David, here's the thing. We thought this would help people. For example, my doctor could see, if I had a pacemaker, how my how heart's been acting yeah. over the last two months through Wi-Fi, so that's helping me. However, for the devious, for those, uh, yep. for the dastardly, yep. how could they be used that against us? Well, there's there's an individual who actually recently passed away. His name was Barnaby Jack, and he did a lot of research on the pacemakers, and they're called wireless implantable devices. And what happens is you can actually send signals and upload information to the actual device itself, and you can actually cause a volt uh, to charge and actually you know cause a person to die from 50 feet away, and you can do it massively. So you can walk you know down the street with a little backpack, walk through the street, and then anybody that has that type of device would automatically start short circuiting and then causing people to die. Well, you got to hope that the manufacturers of these medical devices wise up and say, you know what, maybe we should encrypt it or, or make it harder to hack into. And that's really up to us. You know, they're not, they're not seeing the type of demand that they need right now uh, to, to enforce security in any of these product lines. So when they give them to the hospitals, they're basically like, here, it works, here you go, and then there's no security built into them, so they're wide open. How do we protect ourselves? When you go to the hospital, I mean, obviously, you know, the, the type of information that's centralized, um, so when you walk in, you get a number, you get a badge, yeah. and all of those, those are all in centralized systems, so hackers can actually go and change those, manipulate what procedures you're having, prescriptions, allergies. So so my best recommendation to you is when you go into the hospital, you know, make sure that you're getting the right doses of medication. It's the right medication that you're getting. It's a, and it's good practice anyway to check those. Right. But when it comes to technology, we're really relying off of the technology keeping right. us alive. So we need you working for the good guys. That's uh, right. And stop inventing this stuff so people can, <laughs> uh, can understand. All right. Uh, thanks so much, David Kennedy. Oh, thank you Our so much. Our laptops are right here. Right. That's I right. Know. That's I crazy. See them right now. Please don't hack. <laughs> All right. Uh,